shells and with show stream down at blue dot festival it is day three we're still rolling but we're happy that the incredible audiobooks have joined us so you released uh, an album last year yeah and i've seen rumblings of you around played you on my other one of my other hats amazing radio <laughs> over the last few years so tell me how the project came about well we began this last year no, two years ago. I was going to say a couple of two years. Two years ago, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's so weird. Yes. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. It just came about by accident. We just met, eventually, and came to look at the studio that I had just set up that week. I was a bit too busy to socialise, so I told to put some headphones on and play with the synth. And then I had to listen in. I was like, oh, that's quite good. I'll join in. And then we recorded a song. Amazing. And then the next morning she turned up again in her pyjamas, wanting to record more. Because I was so excited to come around. <laughs> That's so organic though, right? Because yeah. you felt like you, it was meant to be. Well, it was just, I don't think at no, the time... we didn't know that We weren't even thinking of it as it a band. It was actually just like, we, we get on and we are making sounds. So it was very exciting. Does that... For me especially, because obviously, yeah, these are all these synths I never... Yeah, I can imagine the setup at like David's studio is pretty impressive. Yeah, there's a lot of synths. Yeah. <laughs> Modular? Yep. The whole shebang. The whole thing, really what, old what, ones. What was the piece of kit that was in the studio that best <laughs> excited you? Oh, it was the modular, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Um, I yes. can imagine. Yeah, no, because you told me that, yeah, you just twist knobbly bits. Uh, it's amazing. There's no keys to confuse me, because I, if I see keys, I always think you need to have played piano, but with the turny things, you know. I love not... it, the turny things. You are a woman after my own heart, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could be a musician yet, what do you no, reckon? Probably. <laughs> no, 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 it's about attitude, isn't it? It's not about the technique. I think it's about this. No, but David can like... play piano, he's like an actual, he can do it. But surely yeah, but it's then about... You try, I try and remember forget how He's to like do it great. all the time. It's like... But surely it's about chemistry and vision, isn't it? And like a meeting of minds. But it's, I think also it's just, I think the main thing was that the music coming out was good. Yeah. And we liked it. So I like, always do more. To make because, to make like, more. That was the key thing. It was about making music that felt good. You know? So how did yeah. it come about from just like messing around in the studio to then dropping an album? Because obviously you've got all the equipment and all the facilities yeah. to get that done so did you think right we'll just go for it then we just we'd amassed a whole load of stuff by the time i played it to jeff at heavenly it was pretty much ready there was two tracks he loved hot soul yeah <laughs> what a dude and what a hat can i just yeah. say he's everywhere at the moment oh he's brilliant he seems to really hone into i i can see two well, actually, a number of areas. London, West Yorkshire and Calderdale yeah. and Wales. Yes. He's oh, yeah. always very passionate about the Welsh music scene he's as well. He's really supported it for years, even when no one else was. He's brilliant. Like, he's brilliant, Jeff. So where do you go next? Because you've had a single that you dropped earlier on this year, didn't you? Tell, tell us a bit about that. Which one was that? That was Bubble Bath. Yes. It? Yes. Yeah, so that's one of the tracks on the album. Sort of more poppy song, sort of. But we've, we've done a lot. We've, we're... Probably nine Got tracks into the next, the next album. One. So, Already? Yeah, what so can you tell us about the new recordings then? It's a bit different. They're much better. Yeah. <laughs> you would say that. We opened the set with one. Tonight? Yeah. So if you go and see audiobooks tonight, sorry, you're too late. Um, you, yeah, if you, <laughs> if you go and see you like playing at festivals and more shows, yeah. might get to see you playing new material. Yeah, we're gradually adding new yeah, songs. Yeah, the first in. song. And we've got a oh, pop first song. As well. Yeah. yeah pop song in yeah. yes tell us more tell us more i'm just intrigued i need to know it all well the the the, 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 the first move that will be on the uh the new record right okay and blue tits will be blue, as well b blue tits um so have you got a scheduled date for, for release yet or are you still just working it all out nah, got i think you just got to make the record first yeah. and then figure how do you find time in your calendar to be making your own records as well as everybody else's, David? Uh, I mean, it's when quite, do you find uh, time to rehearse? It's actually quite tricky. It's quite tricky. We haven't had a rehearsal for a while, so... So how do you, how do you make that work? <laughs> and I got three, four, six, I don't know what's going <laughs> to be so happening. Who knows what today's gig's going to be like? 
I like the element of unexpected though. Does that make it more magical? Because it's like those almost stolen moments that you get together to then create and and make the make it progress. Well, I think it's always nice seeing different moods. Which moods? Like when you came back from Australia and you were so jet lagged, we actually played a really great gig because Dave was in such a foul really, mood. Oh, what? <laughs> but it kind of came out. You had this We've worked energy. out that we're better live when we're really annoyed. Okay, so for any Maybe. promoters in future, well, hi, hi, hi. what would, what would really be... upset David? No. Let's get down on this. What's going to really upset David to make him angry for a set? Well, I'm hungry. D- starve him? <laughs> yeah, okay. Getting the wrong hummus, is that a possibility? No. I'm not quite that fussy. But... <laughs> it's when something goes wrong with the road. So oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, when my... I was well, like moving away from that, but yeah. What, delays type things? No, well, just so like technical issues. Oh. Something goes wrong. Well, this is it. When wrong. you're in a live setup, you it's really hard to be able to control everything that's happening with the sound and everything that's happening with the stage and the channels. Obviously, David, you know you know your way around a desk inside and out. How do you how do you deal with that when you're on stage? You just you just let it go and uh, yeah, live in the moment. It, I've got certain things I do on stage, and that's what I look after. And then you delegate. Delegate, yeah. Yeah, you just got to have pe- people working with you that you trust. Trust. You know? Yeah. Have you got Bob? much of a team at the moment? Yeah, we had. We've usually got uh, our regular sound guys in with us today, Bob. Oh, right, okay. Um, but we've got Ken and Ben. Ken and Ben today. Good team, strong yeah, team. They're yeah. new t- <laughs> new. Brand new team. Are they? Yeah. David, just yeah. before I let you go, I need to talk to you about who have you been working with lately and what is exciting that I we should be looking for. Can tell you, you divulge? No, it's anything secret. that's incoming that's about to drop that yeah. is Oh well has, actually there is, is something is wrench tastic. There is something that's about to drop, which is the new Marika Hackman album Ooh. that I produced with her. So that's about to come out in a couple of weeks. And it's brilliant. Is it? It's really brilliant. She's brilliant. Um, and I can't think what else. Because I'm not allowed to talk about stuff. Well, I know, I know. So. Okay. But there's some, some bangers stuff. on the way. Bangers. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What about artists, Welsh artists we should be checking out? I've lost a bit of touch, I'm sad to say. So Welsh artists give give you a shout? Yeah, I've, I've lost a bit of... I mean, obviously, like, the most, there's one of the most amazing Welsh artists playing that overlaps with us today, Griff. Oh, of course. Griff Rees. On the main stage. The incredible Griff Rees, who yeah, yeah. I gigged with when I was in school. He's, he's amazing. Is it really nice when you look around and you see so many of your fellow artists from Wales doing so well? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah Griff's, Griff's a real inspiration. He's amazing. It's like, yeah. And over the last few years, obviously, things like the Welsh Music Prize. Yeah. There's been so many people, like, championing the Welsh music scene, yes. really, like, helping to, yeah. to, to to get those artists. Yeah. Um, well, people like our, our and, label and, mates, and Gwen, or, you know. And, Gwen, like, oh, she's, she's, she's brilliant. She's fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the chat. Brilliant. Get together.